to show you now how to contour out the cheeks a little bit and also create the stitched lips. So I'm uh, mixing a little bit of my pale color with black to create a gray that I will use for contouring the cheeks. This can be as extreme or as subtle as you want. Again, I'm going for a more subtle look. So I'm gonna do a light gray instead of a dark black. And I'm gonna make the contour a little bit softer. So I'm gonna take my sponge or brush if you have a brush you like to use. And I'm gonna get a little bit of that gray color on it. And I'm gonna put it along the cheekbone, the bottom of the cheekbone. Just dabbing that in there. And once it's in there, I'm just gonna blend it up and down a little. So it's a really subtle but beautiful contour. Just blotting that onto her skin. And then I'm gonna blend it up and down. You can do a really severe contouring just by doing a super dark color here and then blending that out. But we're just doing a very gentle, gradual. Also here, you can feel where your head indents near your temples. We're gonna do a little bit of shadow there. Hers are right here. Everybody's face is a little bit different, so it's okay to touch to find those hollow spots. It's easy when you're using a really light makeup to see your fingerprints in it, so before you, we powder this, we'll go over it to make sure we don't have any major finger indents. Okay. Looking at that, I'm really liking the way these shadows look, so I'm gonna add a little more severe shadow to her cheekbones. Great. And now onto the lips. I'm gonna take my black color with my angle brush. If you don't have these tools at home, it's no problem. You can use Q-tips or anything else you might have. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna create the stitched lip coming out and try to match it on the other side. Now I'm going to go across the opposite direction with gentle little marks. Now, depending on how you want your sugar sculpt to look, you can um, apply lipstick or um, a burst of color on the lips, or you can just add stitch marks across the lips, which is what I'm going to do. And if you want, inside the lip, you can add a little bit of dark color. I'm gonna have you open a little. Close. And that creates the stitch mark along the lip. 